Hey everybody, Headspace Connections back with another video. This time we're going to be talking about perpetrators. Now, perpetrators are not quite the same as persecutors. Some similar characteristics, but different in how they output those emotions. Now, with perpetrators, they're usually called fight parts. Avengers, perpetrators, they kind of fall into the same category. They're called fight parts. Now, they are a type of protector, and they can be modeled after an abuser, so they can be introjects. Now, with persecutors, they're different in the sense that these alters direct their hostility outward as opposed to inward towards other personalities in, your, in the system. These are going to be more your physical protectors. Now, they are a type of EP with defensive intentions, despite that often having self-destructive behaviors. Now, that being said, fight does not necessarily refer to violence, but to the fight reaction present in PTSD, which is often verbal aggression. So most of the time when you have perpetrator alters, it's mostly going to be that verbal aggression. Very rarely will you ever get one that will actually come out and physically fight. Now, they do happen, but only if provoked. Now, with Avengers, they differ a little bit because Avengers usually have like the hostility and the anger from the entire system directed towards one specific person or group of people. With perpetrators, it can be anybody and anything. If you set them off, they're going to be after you, whether it be physically or verbally. Whether you set them off or provoke them. So that's where they differ a little bit with Avengers. Is because they don't really have a set target. They'll just go after whoever is provoking them. But anyway, that covers the video for perpetrators. I know Avengers and perpetrators can be confused sometimes, but that's basically the main difference between them. Avengers will go after one set specific person. If provoked, will go after a specific person or abuser or group of people. Perpetrators, it's anybody and anything. It's a free for all. If they get set off, they don't care. Now, again, as I said, perpetrators and Avengers are where you're going to get, I'm sure, I guess, your Hollywood idea of what DID is. However, I'm emphasizing the point right now, that's not how it works. And with the people with DID and OSDD, because they've had possibly had a lot of violence in their life, they're not usually going to go towards that route immediately. Usually it takes a lot of provocation before they go that route. And I know for us personally, we were bullied in school. We had Avengers, perpetrators, and issues with other people, but we never actually had to get physical with anybody because if anybody was able to handle the verbal, then it probably would have gotten physical, but not very many people were able to handle the verbal and left before it got physical. So I'm not saying that the verbal aggression is good because it can leave with its own problems, but it just kind of help de destigmatizing the fact that violence is not generally going to be a system's first response as movies like to stigmatize and obsess over the effect of, of fight alters and things like that. And that basically covers this video. We hope it was insightful. Hopefully it was helpful. And we'll see you guys for the next one. All right. Bye.